super quick crash course how to install a gravity fed auxiliary tank in your vehicle. First we're going to start off by gaining access to the filler neck. I'm going to pull out the uh, inner wheel well. Now that we're in the wheel well, clearly see the filler tube. We're going to yank this whole assembly out right out of the truck so we can get it on the bench. So locate your disconnect points, usually a quick coupler of some sort. Under your bolts up here, drop it out the bottom. Before you pull out your filler neck, you're going to want to place uh, your fitting where you're going to tap in. This is obviously the filler line here. Just use a 90 of whatever size you want. Get an idea of where you're wanting to put it. You're going to want to um, kind of get an idea of where your line's going to be running. You want to make sure it's placed underneath the tank. Obviously, this truck it's pretty obvious, but some trucks it's easier to place it up here. But uh, you'll see that's above the height of where your fuel tank will be sitting, so it'll never completely drain out. Uh, you're also going to want to make sure or get an idea to where your line's running so it's a nice gradual flow into here so it doesn't have to go up and then down or else you get an airlock sometimes when your tank's not completely full it has to be a straight shot out of your tank gravity down the whole way into your fitting another thing to check for where you're placing this uh, make sure you're hitting a steel a steel line sometimes they can be made out of different material like sometimes it looks like steel but it's really plastic so you want to figure that out ahead of time to make sure you know exactly where your fitting is going so just hold it in place and then mark it with a sharpie so I've taken my fitting lobbed the bottom off of it and made it so it conforms to the filler neck so you can get a nice tight fit for welding, you want to mark it so your holes are lined up perfectly so there's no disruption in the fuel coming through. Also clean up your edges, that'll help uh, the fuel run in there as smooth as possible. If you get like um, a burr in there, the fuel will start to swirl at the end and it just won't drain as fast. Um, also, you're going to want to make sure your fitting sits on top instead of uh, drilling a hole and putting it inside. Because once again, if uh, anything's coming into the middle of this filler neck, when you pump your fuel in, it'll hit it and swirl again and it'll cause your fuel to back up and it'll kick off the nozzle every time. It'll fill for like two seconds and it'll kick off and it'll drive you absolutely nuts. So make sure it's a flush fit and everything is uh, nice and smooth so it'll flow. This is the setup I use coming out of the tank. It's got a master shut off valve. You don't, this is an electric solenoid so you can control it inside the truck, whether when you're filling or not, you can also just do this manual. You can just leave it open, it'll just gravity feed into the tank as you're going until this one's empty. All right, so some trucks you're gonna have to relocate your breather for your tank. The reason being is when your tank will fill up, it'll actually, the fuel will start coming out of your breather. Um, the Ford, I've never had an issue with. That 2012 F-150, I have this on also. That one, you can just let it go and it never leaks. The Dodges, for whatever reason, they leak out of the breather, so you got to relocate it above the height of your fuel tank in the back. That way it'll prevent uh, anything from leaking through and make sure you use hose that uh, can withstand fuel vapor or else it'll eat right through it. Same with your delivery line, it needs to be rated for fuel. So we're all finished, I'm going to give you a once over here. Tanks in, this is our placement for our valves, shut off. Everything's been drilled through the side of the bed here. You make sure you uh, silicone around the holes or else your hoses will rub and will chew through it in no time. Um, the, the vent is mounted just above the tank so it won't leak out. So we'll go underneath. So that's our fitting we added on. Everything's been sealed off with... Uh, make sure you get sealant tape that's rated for fuel or else it'll just chew it right out of there and start leaking. Uh, everything's zip tied so it can't rub. 